हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू दैट हाउ बेसिकली यू कैन अपलोड मल्टीपल फाइल्स टू योर गूगल ड्राइव हेयर सो बेसिकली आई थिंक इट विल बी द सिक्स ट्यूटोरियल और फिफ्थ ट्यूटोरियल इन द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ ट्यूटोरियल्स ऑफ मास्टरिंग द गूगल ड्राइव ए पी आई इन साइड जावा स्क्रिप्ट यूजिंग ओ आर टू सो बेसिकली इन द प्रीवियस फाइव ट्यूटोरियल्स वी हैव बिल्ड दिस फंक्शनैलिटी अप टिल नाउ वी विल ट्राई टू अपलोड मल्टीपल फाइल्स नाउ वी विल कन्वर्ट दिस टू basically beforehand we can even only upload a single file in this tutorial we will learn how how to change our code just to allow multiple files so that it can be uploaded to your google drive let me show you a very simple example here of this demo so first of all if you click sign in it will ask for the permissions you need to grant the permission go to advance and simply you need to grant the permission simply click continue and now you need to choose your file so whichever file that you want to upload this can be images videos everything you can see where i'm selecting here six image files here you can see six files i have selected if i click upload file you will see that one by one this image files will be uploaded here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 so sixth one as well so you will also get a notification that all files are uploaded you can see that so all these image files have been uploaded here so you can select not one file you can even upload a single file as well this also works you can see that files uploaded so a single file is uploaded here so this is a really nice feature because people want to upload bulk images bulk videos to google drive this is a really good feature and uh, you can do this so let me show you how basically we can change the code here existing code for this i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website webninjadeveloper.com so this is the blog post which guides you step by step before this you need to read this blog post these blog two blog blog posts that i have shown uh, given the link here so you also need to uh, watch the video on how basically we can upload a single file the logic behind that and then come to this video so you can follow the step by step instruction the link is given in the description of this video and if you want to buy the full source code guys you can buy this full source code for only 5000 rupees this is a complete web application that i shown you in abdi playlist video i have deployed successfully this uh, application so you will get all this for only 5000 rupees so i will update this web app so you can monetize it using google adsense and also is oi cat network so this is a complete web app so you can just buy this only for 5000 rupees so let's start this video and uh, uh, let me first of all go to the code here and delete this function here and uh, basically you can see we have this function here profile.html you just need to add this attribute called as multiple which allows you to upload multiple files so we are just allowing the user so that it can select multiple files for this this attribute is necessary after this you need to go to profile.js we are getting the form reference here you will see that guys we are getting the form reference and we are attaching this upload file on the on submit so whenever your form is submitted this function will automatically execute now we need to write this function so this event parameter will be automatically passed here so now we just need to prevent the auto submission of the form e dot prevent default now we need to get all the files which is selected by the user guys so this can be if i console log file dot files length if i do that basically this will give me the number how many files the user has selected and also you can do like this file dot files so this is the actual array which will contain all the uh, files alongside with their name mem type all that stuff now if i open this and let's suppose if i select here four files here go to console and uh, let me choose a file here which is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so if i select these six files here click on upload file you will see that this number will be shown to you this is six files have been uploaded and you will see that this is basically an array which contains these six files here indexing start from 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 so now we need to one by one use a for each loop to basically loop through these all these files and upload them using a fetch api so we will be doing this so for this we will be storing this length in a variable let me store this inside this length variable 
so initial value will be how many files you select now we will be using this syntax guys array from and basically inside this it creates an array from an iteratable object we will pass the object here which is file dot files and inside this we will invoke our for each loop and for each file here we will run this loop here so basically if I console log the value of f so this will represent the value of each file here guys so we don't need to write like this here now if I refresh it once again if you inspect element and basically if you now select let me select the seven files click on upload file you will see that automatically it will repeat for seven times here each file has these properties which is name size the second image file has a name size third image file name size so every image file has this attributes guys so we just need to extract these properties so inside this for each loop after doing this we just need to make a object here first of all we need to append this into a form data object so we will be declaring new form data this is a constructor and basically inside this we will be invoking our metadata and uh, metadata basically it's an object which contains the information about the file which is the name so this basically we will store the random name for the file so this will be f dot name so this will return the name of the file guys so after this put a comma and then we need to put mem type so these things are necessary and then here we will put the mem type mem type is basically extension of the image so this is present inside the type property that's it so there is also a third property guys if you want to basically upload into a specific folder inside google drive you just need to paste the google drive id i will also show you later on but by, for now I, I don't need to upload to a specific folder so after this guys what we need to do is that we need to append those values so we will say data.append and we will append the metadata so we will provide a key and then we will simply convert this to a blob so new blob and basically here inside our square brackets we will simply convert this to a json object so json stringify and we will pass our metadata that's it and also it takes a second property guys which is a object so type property is takes so basically it is a application slash json because this is a json object so that's why we need to provide this type parameter so after this guys we will also append our data dot append file attribute so which actually holds the actual file so basically we will put f so this will hold the actual file the user has selected in this case the images videos all that stuff so after doing this guys we just need to make a simple fetch call to the google drive api so here you will simply say here fetch so here guys we just need to write our uh, address here this is the endpoint that we will be using https uh, www.googleapis.com slash upload slash drive version 3 files question mark and then you need to provide these two parameters upload type is equal to multi-part multi-part and the second parameter is the fields so what fields you'd want to return after the file is uploaded we need to return the id of the file after it is successfully uploaded now put a comma and this expects a second argument to a function so put a set of curly brackets inside this method guys we just need to write the method here which is actually be a post method and here we also need to attach the headers so new headers and here we will pass the authorization header guys inside this curly brackets authorization so this will be b e a r e r bearer followed by the access token so this needs to be i think this backtick symbol so that we can attach the dynamic parameter access token we can attach like this and uh, i think that's all that you need to do guys so also we need to provide the body as well so body will hold the actual form data object guys which we declared here which is data here so we have appended two things out there the metadata about the file 
and the actual file so we will now directly pass this data here like this data so this basically fetch request guys this returns a promise so we can need to handle this promise here by dot then so we will get the data here we first of all need to convert this data to json so we will return response.json and this also will return a response dot then we will get our actual value so we will console log it and basically we will subtract one from the length value so length minus one because one file is uploaded so we will subtract one file from it and now we will compare here basically if length is equal to zero so this will simply mean that all the files are uploaded so in this case we will alert the user that all files uploaded that's it and also we will basically clear out the fields as well so we will simply say here file dot value so this will reset the form that's it so this is a simple logic we are using so we are calculating the length value at the very top here we are storing it if you see inside length here so this will hold the number of files the user has selected so after each file is uploaded we subtract one from it and then we are comparing here if length is equal to zero then we are simply showing the message all files uploaded and then we are resetting the form that's it and also guys we have also a catch statement as well if any sort of error take place we can console log it if your syntax is not right then it will actually catch the value so now this is all the logic guys so now if i refresh the application and try to upload a let me open this one so basically what will happen let me select a file here one two three four click on upload file so you will see in the console basically one by one the ids will be returned and you can see all files uploaded so this is the actual id of the uploaded file guys which is returned by the google drive api and if you now check here four files have been successfully uploaded so in this case guys if you want to let's suppose you want to create a folder let's suppose you create a folder here of uh, images 2 and uh, now if you want to insert inside this multiple files so what you can do is that you can right click this you can go into this folder and simply you need to copy this folder id and simply copy this and here inside your logic inside the parents property you need to paste the id here that's it so now all the images that you now upload will be uploaded inside that folder so basically what will have now happen here let me refresh the application let me go to profile.html open with live server so you will see that guys now let me just choose files 1 2 3 4 5 6 upload file so now you can see inside this folder the images will be uploaded you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 as well so inside a specific folder you can see all the images are uploaded here so you just need to copy this folder id that you see right here and simply paste inside the script in profile.js so you need to add a parents property like this so in this way guys you can upload multiple files to google drive it's very simple i have given the step by step in instruction in the description of this video but if you want the overall application this overall application which is deployed on freemediatools.com you can even check out this application and also want to earn money as well because these kinds of applications earn a lot of money using advertisement you can purchase it 5000 rupees and you can mail me you will get full support so thank you very much guys for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next one